I will now proceed to film myself cutting the entire backyard. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Probably lost all three of my regular viewers right there. <laughs> hey there folks, Jaybird here with another lawn video. Today is Wednesday, April 24, 2019. A uh, few things on my mind today. One is a month or so ago, March 24, I put down Next Products, Humic 12, and Air 8. Put them down a month ago, March 24, and then I put them down again yesterday on my lawn. So I'm gonna do these one month apart. A month ago, I used my backpack sprayer, and what I learned is that takes a while, and it works, and it's okay and everything, but the ortho hose-in sprayer, where you put the chemicals in, in here, and then you attach your hose, this works much better. So that's one thing I learned. Just wanna throw that out there, but I'm counting on these products, Air 8, Humic 12. I think they'll do really well for the soil. So I'm following my lawn care nut and a lot of the lawn gurus. I'll put a lot of links to those channels in the description for this video, but uh, that stuff is good stuff. The other thing that's happened that's really cool is that I have my stumps ground. You need to see it. This used to be a Bradford pear tree right here. I had it ground a couple days ago and they put in topsoil on top of it. They hauled all the chips away. The chips are very acidic and not something you want to use like as on your mulch beds or something. Uh, but I'm really relieved to get this done. Now I need to grow some seed and it's spring and all that grass is probably going to die but it's better to have something here versus just nothing and or weeds. So the plan is to plant some seed anyway, and I'll show you what I'm gonna plant a little bit later. This is my other stump that got ground. This was a plum tree. Uh, was an ornamental, not as big as the bread for pear on the other stump. This one was unique in that I had a sprinkler near near the stump. Uh, never should have had the, plant, the tree planted near the sprinkler, but it was. Anyway, I dug this sprinkler head up before they came and I put a stake in the ground and some string and pulled it out of the way so that when they ground the stump, it wouldn't get all chewed up. So that, that worked out well. I just need to fill the hole up with, with some dirt now. The other thing that I have learned is a lesson that I have learned many times in my life, over and over, I guess. And that is when you hire somebody like a, a lawn contractor or something, get more than one quote, at least two quotes. The guy that did both of these stumps for me his, his cost was $300. I had another guy give me a quote, which was 300 each. So I would have spent $600. So I wound up saving $300 just by getting a second quote. And the guy did a great job, did a fantastic job. So $300 to me, yay. I got this Scott's Turf Builder Lawn Soil. I figure if you're gonna put some soil on it, this is probably the best thing. It's the best thing I saw anyway. It has Scott's starter fertilizer already in it, which is interesting. Um, it says it's a blend of rich composted materials, sphagnum peat moss, starter fertilizer, wetting agent, improves seed germination. So uh, it even has pictures what to do. Sort of dummy pictures, if you ask me. But uh, 
So I'm just gonna put some of this out. Okay, for grass seed, I just have some Scott's tall fescue. Okay, the other thing I found at the store was this is starter fertilizer with weed preventer, which blows my mind. You know, a pre-emergent and starter fert, they're not supposed to go together. Pre-emergent is supposed to kill all seeds and starter fert goes with brand new seeds. So I don't know how this stuff works, but um, and I know there's a little starter fruit in that soil, but I'm gonna put a little bit out anyway because I couldn't resist it. That's enough. Now just work it in a little bit with my garden weasel. No reason to go crazy. Love my garden weasel. All kinds of stuff I can do. Thanks. That's all for this one, folks. We'll see you next time. There you go. Smile. Smile for the camera. Are you guys enjoying the deck? Probably. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. <laughs>